Hi, welcome to the next training session of SCPF ICU module. Today's topic for training is Report Painter. In Report Painter, we will be covering the following table of contents. Report Painter Overview Elements of Report Painter How to copy an existing report Then Transport Request and Summary Moving to the Report Painter Overview Report Painter is a tool provided by SAP that enables users to create financial reports. It is a user-friendly tool with predefined elements that assist users in defining reports. SAP introduced Report Painter reports as a successor to Report Writer reports and Report Painters are much more easy and convenient as compared to the Report Writer reports. There are various advantages to it. We will come to that before that. Um, again, the Report Painter by SAP is one of the most commonly used tool for defining reports in the FICO module. Every single reports, every even every single controlling reports because report painter basically is meant for the controlling module. So whatever the reports are there in the controlling whether it is with respect to the cost center accounting or internal order profit center accounting or product costing all are being created with the using report painter with report painter we can define reports quickly and easily across columns and rows you need standard reports delivered by SAP as a base copy them and do the minor modifications to be able to suit your requirement so the best way out to use the Report Painter is to copy an existing report and make the needful changes what is required as per the rows, columns and other modifications for your own purpose. So SAP Report Painter is the main tool for defining reports in the information system in controlling module. It has got number of different advantages like easy and flexible report definitions, report definition without using sets, direct layout control. With the help of direct layout control, one can decide, look, look and feel which columns and rows you want, where you want and where you want your totals to be displayed on the screen. So, so now moving up to the next is where do I find Report Painter in the SAP system? And this Report Painter, who can use it? Now, a report painter can be used by anyone who has got some hands-on SAP system. And it can be authorized or report painter authorizations can be provided only to the super users or maybe to the consultant level only. It cannot be provided to the users at any organizations. So, the report painter, you can find it out with this menu path or the transaction code. So there are three options. One is to create a report and the next is to change a report and then to display a report. So these all options are there in the screen. The path is there and the transaction code is there. To create a report, the transaction is GRR1. To change it is GRR2 and to display it is GRR3. So let's see to the SAP screen and see how we can move up with the path and reach out to the to the report. So whenever you log in your SAP system, the first page which comes on the screen is your SAP Easy Access. And from there onwards we can reach on to the path with the help of the path. So you can see now there's SAP Easy Access. 
from where we need to go to SAP menu and information system. So as we are already on the SAP Easy Access menu path, so you can find over here SAP menu. In that we need to go to information systems and we can expand this part and that you can go and find ad hoc reports so you need to expand this and then report painter expand and you can find over here a report folder within report painter you need to expand that and you will find four options over there that is one is to create report next is to change report and then to display the report and the last one is to delete report so there are multiple standard reports provided in the report painter by the SAP side and most of the cases those reports fulfills most of the requirements but in case uh, those requirements are not been fulfilled by all those standard reports in that case you can create your own or you can customize your own report with the help of report painter or even you can you can pick any of the existing report and you can go for making certain changes to that. So libraries and tables are defined in the report groups while creating the reports. So moving to the report elements, there is general selections, columns and rows. General selection covers your selection criteria. What kind of a report you want to run, what input you want to put into that. And in that report, while creating the report, you decide the columns and rows which has to be taken up. And if you move on to the variable part now, the variables refers to your screen selection. So while executing a report, you need to assign the screen, uh, you need to put the data onto the screen selection part so as to execute the report which have been displayed. So basically they are controlling area, fiscal year, from and to periods. It may also have a cost center or so. So those are the selections, screen selections M is referred to as a variable over here in it. So the screen variable can also be a cost element group, which is grouping of all cost elements grouped according to the logical grouping. Example revenues, salaries or wages, logical costs, logistical cost and administration cost as such. So this is about your different elements which are a part of a report painter when you go for creating a report into the SAP system with the help of a report painter. So let's see in the SAP system how these reports, how these different elements look like. So first move on to the report group. So you can find the menu path on the screen so as to reach out to the report group. There is the path as well as the transaction code for the same. So if you move on to the SAP system for this, so the path is there. It says you need to go to the SAP CX system to accounting and controlling. So this is your accounting. And in that we need to go to controlling, then to the cost center accounting. And within cost center accounting now you need to go to information system tools report painter so information system tools then report painter and within report painter now we need to go to report writer and then report group so this is report writer over here and then we need to go to this report group over here so the path is slightly lengthier where we went on to first to the cost center accounting, then to enter information system, then to tools, report painter, report writer, and then report group. So these are the many options on the screen to you. These are many of such options over here. So what we can do is now we can execute one 
group with GR55 just to have a look of it. So double click on this to execute the uh, report group. So once we double click now you can see that it asks you for the report group over here. So we'll be selecting the report group from the list of such options. Let's see the list of different groups. You can see there are a huge list of groups over here on the screen. So the one which we will be using over here is So we'll be selecting the group over here as one SIP that is cost center actual plan variance. Now double click on it so as to get it selected. And once we have got it selected, now we can execute this report group. So once we execute the report group now, okay, we'll not let's see, not to execute but to check the further details. So now we need to go to the once we have selected the report group that is one SIP. Now we need to go to the heading over here as report group. We need to select the display over here just to display the group, and then we can click on to the header over here. So once you click on to the header, it shows you the the account the report group, what library it relates to and what are the different table being assigned to it. So you can see now the table assigned to this particular group, one SIP, the table is one BK, that is cost center, absorbs and costing, whereas the table assigned to it is CCS, that is for overhead cost controlling, and the report group is one SIP, and now over here there is no authorization group assigned to it, that is an optional part. If you want to assign the authorized group, you can put the same over here as well. And if you find over here that the configuration, you will find that 10 reports are assigned to the report group. As already said, that a report group consists of the reports. And whenever you create any reports in Report Painter, you need to assign it to one or the other report group. Without assigning it to the report group, you cannot execute the report. So these are your library, this is the table which we have checked and this is the different reports. If you want you can click on to the configuration part. So once you click on to the configuration part it shows you what are those 10 different reports existing in this particular group. So these are the standard provided standard different reports which have been provided within the group from by the SAP system by the SAP. So they are cost center, actual line items, planning overview, plan line items, period breakdown and all such reports are there in the screen. And if you click on to this technical names it shows you the technical name of these reports as well. So you can see now once I click on to the technical names it shows you the technical rate these are the transaction codes of those reports. So KSP1, KSPP, these are the different transaction reports. So once I click again, it got to the uh, description part will be back. So this is your report group, which we have just checked up. So this is what we have checked. We have checked in the header information that the, that particular report group relates to which library, which table, and what are the different drill down reports assigned to this particular group. So if you now click on to these reports over here, then you can find that this is the group, this is the table, and this is the different report group over here, and this is the report which has been assigned over here to it. And the report has been assigned on 31st May 2013 over here. So this is what we have covered with the report group part. Now moving back, just to check back, we'll get back to uh, take a practical case while creating all these things 
uh, as a part of a report or a report group and all those things in a while. Even, even if you would like to execute the report, you could have executed it from over here. If you select the group and you execute the report, the report will be executed over here on your screen. And you can input the screen selection parameters and you can execute the report over here as well. So if I put the date over here, the controlling area, fiscal year and the period from and to. And if I now want to execute the report, I can move on and execute the report over here. So once I execute, now you can see this is a standard report and this has now been executed. So it will show you the data on the screen. So you can see now. So this report is about the cost elements and different actual cost incurred and the plan cost and then the variance and variance percentages over here on the screen. Even if you want to see the cost center groups, you can expand that over here. And these are the different cost center which are been assigned to this. If you want to see with respect to any one cost center, you can click on to that and that particular respective data will be reflected to you on the report. So this is about how you can execute the report with the help of a report group also. And you can check back how what table what library has been assigned to that particular report group which you must know as you cannot assign a, a report to a wrong table or a wrong library else the report will not work properly so what we have put the parameter over here these are your general selections over here on the screen and once we executed the report will find there are various columns on it and there are various rows that is what we have talked about in the presentation file the various report elements like general selections columns and reports and it is what been reflected to you over here on the screen so these are your various report row, rows which have been reflected to you and these are the various columns on the screen and selection parameters we have already seen what are the general selection options which you need to fill while executing the report so once we have selected the library over here now we can move on and enter on the screen so once we enter on the screen now you can find that there are the various details related to the library the library over here is 1vk and the table used for the library is ccss the description over here has been mentioned to you and the component has also been mentioned to you on the screen. So now this is your display part. If you click on to the characteristics, it will show you the list of different characteristics this particular library consists of. As once I clicked onto the characteristics, it shows you the different characteristics the particular library has on this screen and you can find these are the various characteristics on the screen so basically the question comes up is what are characteristics the characteristics are non numerical fields they represent criteria by which you can select data records examples of characteristics are the controlling area and the fiscal year so you can find over here the controlling area is there, the fiscal area is there which has been used as a characteristics. Even apart from that, there are many other important characteristics which are used in many of the standard reports on day to day basis like uh, the period is there, cost center, cost element, activity type, statistical key figures. These are some of the important characteristics which are used in many of the reports now, they are value types the value types is uh, the indicator for distinguishing with different value categories such as actual cost plan cost target cost and so on in the database tables whereas if you move on to the versions now over here the versions are year dependent indicators for plan data whereas the debit and credit indicator over here the debit and credit indicator indicates indicator used to distinguish the debit and the credit postings in the CO in the CO side that is the controlling part. So moving up to the next now we can click on to the next option that is key figures. So click on to the key figures now and you will find the list of different key figures on the screen as you can see. 
these are the different key figures so the key figures are numerical fields which can be evaluated in a report the examples are overall cost and activity quantities if you check on the number of different key figures are on your screen like total cost actual cost in cost center accounting is there total plan cost is there actual quantity plan quantity so these are the various uh, various keys which are used and if you move on to the next that is the basic key figures you will find further key figures over here on the screen so like the cost that is the name of that is technical name is CWKG the, this is the controlling area currency is the currency used for cost center in CO part whereas moving to the next over here you will find furthermore like uh, cost in CO area controlling then there are activity quantities there are statistical quantities so the activity quantity is basically posted quantities for activity activity type then a statistical quantity refers to the posted quantities for statistical key figures they are cost in transaction currency that is the transaction currency is the currency in which the given documents are posted so that is over here so there are different such basic keys on the screen so this is about the characteristics keys and the basic keys and if you move on to click on to the header over here now the header will take you back to the same screen at which we entered and once you enter over here you'll find one more option on the screen that is over here as the use so once you click on to the use it will take you to the different report so these are the different different if you click on to the use over here it will show you the different list of reports which are on your screen over here so these are the different reports under the library so these are the predefined columns consist of key figures and one or the more, more of the characteristics in the report they are used for fast definition of frequently used columns example include total cost total actual cost for the current year or the plan fixed cost for the previous fiscal year and so on so the standard reports delivered with cost center accounting are summarized in the following libraries so the most common library which is used is 1vk 1vk library is for full cost method that is for the cost accounting and there are further uh, libraries like 1GK that is for marginal cost and 1AK is for variance analysis so there are various different reports for the same and it varies from name to name so moving up to the next now is the variables so the variable path over there is on the screen and the transaction code are also there on the screen but we will not be revisiting the variable part as we will not be creating any any new report but what we will be doing is we will be copying a standard report and then we will be making certain modifications as per the requirement into that particular standard report so moving to the next copying an existing report it is easier to copy standard reports and modify them rather than create a report through a scratch which is much more complicated so better is to take the thing simple and after that can move on to the complicated part so the steps to create a report with copying a standard one is first to select a current report which you want to use and which we want to copy further so first is to select a current report and then how to copy that report the next part come up is naming convention for the copied report so the naming convention must start with Z which means that it is a customized report so whenever you create a new report while copying or creating from the scratch you should always keep the name of the report with the initial as Z Z refers to a customized report in SAP then the next come up is creating a new report group so once you create a report you need to assign that report to a report group so you need to create a report group for that and assign the report to 
a new group which you have created and even if you want you can change the group as well and then we can generate that report and execute it so without assigning that report to the report group you cannot execute the report in the report painter so let's select a report which we want to copy from the system so let's uh, check few of the reports which we want to copy uh, as a standard and make certain changes so another question come up is every report in controlling is assigned to a report painter a, a, a report group and the library and the tables so how we can find that which table which library it has been assigned to so let's take a report going to accounting controlling then information system an information system will be finding certain reports let's see the reports with relation to the cost center accounting and then in that the plan and actual cost so you can find the various reports so suppose we take this report over here and once we execute now this particular report double click on it so now the report is executing compiling the data take a couple of more time comparatively because the report is first time being executed so this is on your screen so the selection values on the screen which is coming up over there here the controlling area fiscal year period versions cost center cost element groups and all these are the part of variable and this is what the selection is screen and the variable is all about the selection screen so now we need to go and check the the plan the libraries and report group so for that you need to go to the report over here and in report you need to go to the technical information so once you click onto the technical information now it will show you the different parameters environment on the screen to you so you can see now the table is reflecting to you over here the report reflects to this particular table the library is 1VK VK, and then the report group refers to is 1SKL. So this is what you should always know. So every cost center report is assigned to a table, library and report group. And you must know how you can go and you can check that particular report group. So this is, you need to go to environment and then the technical information for that. And even you can see the plan, the program version has also been over here, valid from 899-1998, active version. So this information you need to create your own report group. So now, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a report group with copying the report group 1SKL. So now we can close this tab over here and we can go to report group now. So now moving on to the first part that is to create a new report group. We need to go to the transaction GR51 to create a group, GR52 for change and GR53 for display. So let's move to create a report group into the SAP system. So we'll be executing the transaction GR51, enter. So in this now, we need to first take the report group over here, which we will be creating. So you need to take the care of the naming convention. So whenever we create any customized report or group or any customized object, it should start with Z, as Z refers to customized part in SAP system and you can select over here the report group from which we will be copying the the Z group so the Z group over here is ZSKL and the report group over here, the standard report group is 1SKL if you want you can check that as well over here 1SKL refers to what so we can check over here on the below part so 1 SKL
so this is over here so this is over here one SKL that we have selected over here on the screen now once we have taken up we can enter on the screen and once you entered on the screen it takes you to the next screen now and you can see that the library 1VK table is CCSS and the report group has been taken up as ZSKL and even if you want you can change the description as testing report cost center and now you can check over here that the authorization group is not there so the authorization group is an optional part if there is a need of any authorization objects to be taken up that can be assigned to it but otherwise as of not required the next thing which we can check over here is the number of reports so for that we need to click on to this configure so as you configure the system gives a message that first save first so first need to go and need to save the group over here so as I save the group you can see the message the report group ZSKL has been saved and now we can move on to the header again so once I click on to the header okay it already exists no issues we can go to to change and once we move on to the change report group then we can move on to the header and once I am over here onto the header part now you can see that the report group has been created and the description has in testing report cost center and you can see over here that five reports have been assigned to the report group so the report group which we have used as a standard one SKL that particular standard group already had five reports assigned to it and when you copied when we copied the group from their standard one to this Z those reports also got assigned to this report this report group so you can check over here what are the different report groups so click on to the configure report and you can see over here on the screen these were the various five reports on the screen which has been assigned now to ZSKL report group so this is over here now in case you want to see the technical names of them you can click on to this technical name and you can find the transaction code these are the different transaction codes of the reports which have been reflecting over here to you on the screen now suppose I want to add one more transaction to it so in that case I can go and I can click on to this insert row so once I in clicked on to the insert row now it shows me report group but I don't want to assign the report group I want to assign a transaction so we can go on to other report type click on to the other report type now and you can select the option from over here whether you want to add a drill down report a map report or a writer or a transaction so I will be taking a transaction over here now and in that I will be assigning a transaction code that is KSBL is the transaction which is which I would be adding in this report part as a for assignment so once you click on to this OK you can see now that the report has been added over here KSPL and now we can go and we can save this option over here on the screen so once saved you can see over here now the reports has been changed from 5 to 6 so now the 6 report has been assigned to this report group so this is how you can create your report group and you can assign reports to it as well now moving on to the next if you again want to see the the number of reports you can see over here on the screen and this is the report which has been added just now now moving on to the next is click on to the reports so once you click on to the reports now you can see an another screen over here on the on it and it shows you that there is a range cost center report already assigned to it and if you want to assign the another option to assign the reports to the group is you can assign the reports over here on the screen so these are the two options of assigning the report to the report group 
now we can go and we can save the screen over here and the report group has been created so once the report group has been created now we can go back to the next step and that is to select the report current report which we need to copy so first we need to select a report so let's see what report we can take so let's move on to the accounting and select a report so the report which we will be taking up as a copy part cost center information system report actual so we can take this report over here and we can take up and copy this report so we can check the technical information of it and this belongs to one SKL okay so we can take this report over there now so let's move on to create a report now so to create a report the transaction to create a report is GRR1 to create GRR2 for change so now moving on to create the report slash in GRR1 enter so now over here you need to assign the library to it and then you need to assign the report name so suppose the report name I am assigning is test cost center and I am taking it over here as ZSIP1 or ZSIP001 and I would be copying this report from a standard report that is 1SIP001 so once I have defined the library in which I want this particular report to be taken up with and the report name I have taken with Z as I am been copying a report that means I would be making certain changes to it as per my requirement so I would be customizing this report from a standard report that is 1SIP001 and now we can click on to create and once I click on to create you can see that the report has been copied and the report name has been generated on the screen that is ZSIP001 so once the report has been created now the next things come up is to save this report so the report has been saved on the screen now what the next step come up is to assign the report to the report group so we have already covered these parts now we'll be moving up to the next that is assigning the report to a report group so for that we need to go back to the transaction GR55 enter okay can open new screen GR55 enter so we can the report group is ZSKL and now we can go over here to change and then to reports and now in this over here we can assign it 0001 so this is the report which we have just created ZSIP 001 and as you enter it will be added to the group so you can see now this is the report which we have just created the status is 181 which we have created just now and have assigned and now we can save the screen and the report has been saved and if you want to check the report assignment now you can see that these are the reports which are there with it and we can add it over here as well so over here you can also add Z IP so it will not allow it over here okay this is a group we need to go to the transaction so we can select the transaction and then we can assign it to SIP, SIP 001 so this is what we have assigned the transaction code over here and once I will click now okay it doesn't allow over here that means it will allow only to that screen over here onto it so that is what we have already assigned to it 
and now moving back this is how you need to assign the report to the report group so once the report has been assigned to the report group now the next question come up is what modifications can we make to the report so executing the transaction GRR2 for change report and the report which we have created under the one week at a library we can go down and you can see this is the report which we have created ZSIP001 so if you double click onto this report this report will show you the structure of the report over here on the another side as you can see so now the another question come up is what kind of a modification can we make can we have on this particular report so for that let's see first the general selection part so we need to go to edit and the general selection over here general data selection so as I click on to the general data selection over here now so these are the various parameters as you can see the selection screen over here controlling area cost center fiscal year period and if you want you can add further things to it like suppose I add business transaction from right side to the left side to it so once I have taken the business area now I can go and set select the set and then we can select from and two parameters so in the from part let's see what we can have so what I can have from all those things is let's take the total cost so this is what I have selected over here so once you have selected the parameter from the character to the variant part so this is the variant which is on the screen that is the screen selection part and the variant is the same thing so now you can go and you can check this part so once it has been checked we can confirm it so confirmed so this is what has been added to the general selection parameters now moving to the next is what else can we do suppose I move on to this over and under absorption double click on to over and under absorption so once I double click you can find this is the formula which has been assigned to the this particular part so this is your Y001 debit over here and Y002 as credit and the formula has been assigned to the over and under absorption on the screen if you want you can even change the formula over here suppose I put it as minus so it will show you the the differences between the two so this is it what can be done even if you want you can have a different formula as well suppose I assign a different formula like uh, I take it as let's see uh, we take it as an average like this plus y2 divided by 2 so what will happen in this case is it will show you the averaging now instead of total so change description now you can see that so this is it now we can go and we can add this part over here so once we go for this it asks us for that would you like to change the description of this so even if you want you can change to description like I want to change it to average and the same can be taken up over here same can be taken up over here as well so once I have making these changes you will see that this over and absorption head description will change to average now so confirm so once confirmed you can see now the average has been changed from over and under absorption to average now moving on similarly to the next part that is the column side if you double click onto the column it will show you the other parameters or variant on the screen so there is further couple of things in it like the basic key figures are there so if you want to pick up the cost you select the cost if you want the quantity to be updated you select the quantity and if you want the output or total cost in object currency so these are the various parameter primary cost total cost in target 
statistical quantity so whatever you want you can select as per the requirement accordingly and the changes can be done now the next thing over here is value type so let's see what this 4 refers to in the value type it basically is a cost but 4 refers to the actual cost so if you want the plan cost you can take 1 if you want the actual cost you need to take the take 4 so basically this refers to the actual cost column that's why 4 has been taken if you go for the plan cost you will find one half would have been taken over there in that case so suppose I want to add certain thing to it like uh, if anything you want to add further to this you can add it like suppose I want to add document type I can add document type on this side and then you can also select the from and to options over here so now the system cannot display the entries over here obviously it cannot be displayed over here it will be displayed once to be active so let's create this active part okay so this is how you can add on and the changes you can make to the to the structure of the report and now you can check and you can confirm so this is something which you cannot have we need to take it back okay so suppose this is how you can drag and you can make changes to it and suppose you want to change the description of the column again so you need to go to the this part over here that is change sort middle and long text so once you click on to this change sort middle and long text you can see now and I can write it as column 1 similarly you can take the same over here to the downside and once you click OK to it and check confirm you will see now it has been replaced from column 1 from actual cost to column 1 now and you can even you want to change back again you can go double click on to that and you can go to this option over here and then again you can make actual cost similarly we can change the description of medium actual cost and similarly we can go back and change for the long text and now confirm then you need to check and confirm so you can see now the the column one disc column two description has now again been changed so this is how you can make changes to your reports now moving on further there is one more thing which we can go for that is the like there is a report header also so once we click on to the edit report header now we can go and we can change the header over here as well so on the header click on to the export header so we don't need this no this is not the part which we have been looking for so let's see what else changes can be done to it so this is over here report text so in the report text you can make certain changes to the report text part like these various like suppose I make the changes to the header so if you click onto the header the system will reflect you the header of the system which has been reflected and over here there are different parameters which you can write and which will be reflected on to the header part so if you want to add certain thing as like general variables so that can be taken up as you want it to be selected out of this so whether you want the author of the report or the client name or the client number currency whatever can be taken up or else you can even go and you can select for the selection parameters also over here and whatever the selection parameters you want that can also be selected on the header part so suppose I take the selection parameter as controlling area so that controlling area can be taken over here so once you have assigned the parameter uh, uh, on the header part even you want you can delete it over here so select the put the cursor on the parameter on the selection part and click on to the variable and it will be deleted if you want go back again and you can again assign it with something else 
So whatever the header you want accordingly, you can decide that over here on it. So suppose I again take the valuable over here, controlling area and the text type is description and then continue. So you can see over here the controlling type has been displayed to you. So this is how you can you can make the changes to the report and now we can save it. So the text was saved. Now back. So this is how the changes you can make to the report and this is if you work on it it's very simple very easy to understand very easy to create your own reports from it even you can check the environment library from over here again over here that the library is reflecting the table is reflecting to you and all number of different things so this is how you can create and now once you have done these changes now if you want to execute the report you can go and you can click on to this execute option over here and your report ask you do you want to save and execute the report yes and now the report will be executed so you can see now the the report has been executed and it asks you the screen parameters that is the variant so you need to put the controlling area so that is 1000 you can take the the fiscal year then the period from and to and the cost center cost element if required and else you can execute it so executing the transaction now you can see now that that the report has been executed over here on the screen to you so this is how you can go and you can create your reports so you can click on to the test report also over here so this is how the report can be executed onto the system exit yes so this is how we have made the changes and we have created we have copied a uh, an existing standard report and we had created a new report group we have copied a standard report and assigned to the group and then we made certain changes to that particular report also so and after that we have executed the report as well successfully so this is one of the simplest way out to create your reports without the help of an ABAP consultant. So now moving on to the next is transport request. So once you have created the report in the development client and now you want that particular report to be moved from there to the live system. In that case you need to that, the, that particular things can be moved with the help of a request number. So for that you need to create a request for this report. So a report can be transported from one system to another that is from development to quality system or from quality system to the live system using this transaction code. So the transaction code and the path is on the screen. So we'll be going up with the transaction code that is GCTR. So this is the transaction code which we can with which we can create the request for the report which we have just customized and we can move that from the development to the quality server so enter so once i clicked onto the enter now you can see that these are the various parameters on the screen so if you want to move the report group you need to select the group over here depending upon what you want to take it on the transport path so select the report group now execute so once executed now you need to select the report group which you want to take it in the request and you want to transport it to the next client so that is what we can we can check with the F4 and from over here you can check the Z which we have just created that is ZSKL which we has been which we had just created a while back so we can select that over here and now we need to select the with dependent objects and with variants these are the two options which need to be selected and execute 
So once we have executed this part now, you can see that select the report over here and now execute. So once executed, you can see that our transport request has been generated on the system and over here you need to create your own transport request. So you need to go to create request over here, click on to this now and save it in a workbench request so once you click on to the workbench request now select on ok and now put the description to it fi 0 report with report painter created. So this is what the request you have created and now you can go and you can save this screen over here and continue. So this is what we are done with the report painting and you can see the transport request has been also been generated over here that is 902911 on the screen. So this is what we are done with the trans with the report painter we have created the report we have executed and now we have taken it in the transport request so that it can be moved from the one system to the another system for the usage and now moving on to the last part that is the summary so there are number of different pros and cons like the pros are the standard tool to build custom reports easy to understand and manage and quicker to build even then ABAP reports. The cons are limited to characteristics in SAP, not able to create cross-functional reports and does not always fit the business requirements. Again at the end, would like to remind you that it is better to copy an existing standard report and make the needful changes as per the requirement as it is more complicated to create the report from a scratch. So this is it. We are done with the report painter. We are done with the SAP FICO module and all the very best to you. I hope I would be, I am been able to understand and guide you in a proper manner so as to give you a great overlook and understanding of all the topics that we have covered. Thank you. All the best.